gentlemen, boys and girls, Shark 300 here, and welcome to another video up on the channel. Today, we've gotten ourselves into another patch in Smite, and we have the new god, Xing Tang, or however you pronounce it. He looks like to be a new Chinese warrior or guardian. I'm not completely sure yet. They haven't said, and I don't know. But, um, uh, I'll be looking at his kit right now. Not sure how to pronounce his name, so excuse me on that. But I'll be looking at his kit here, his passive and all of his abilities, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Zingtang's passive smoldering rage. Zingtang gains stacks of smoldering rage each time he hits an enemy with an ability. Max is 12 stacks. For each stack of rage Zingtang has, he gains HP 5 plus 3. Stack lasts 18 seconds. All right, so. I guess he's meant to be in battle, so he'd be um, kind of like a Guan Yu, just in there, and he gets a little reward for it, for uh, having more HP 5, and it looks like to be a pretty good amount. So he's going to be a little tanky. Furious Roar is his first ability. Zing Tang shouts from his chest with great force, dealing 60 to 140 damage plus 40% of his magical power so he's gonna be magical all right 40% of his magical power and reducing their basic attack damage from 30 to 50 for 1.5 to 3.5 seconds which is actually a long time long long time even longer than um Bologna's disarm on her scourge so that's a really long time 3.5 seconds in this kind of game enemies take a percent of their maximum health as damage over time plus 2.5 per second as well the cost from goes from 55 to 75 mana and the cooldowns from 15 to 11 seconds all right so I'm seeing here that this, this would be a line or cone ability and it reduce it reduces the uh, basic attack of the enemy which I guess he's gonna be geared towards basic attack gods kinda like Bologna was and um, it deals a decent amount of damage so that's it's really cool and it's a percent of their max health so it's gonna be kinda like uh, Ares flames which is deadly if he gets fed alright his second ability hook slam Xing Tang first launches an attack with his axe, knocking the opponent into the air before slamming them into the ground and rooting them for 1 to 2 seconds. Axe damage is from 25 to 80 plus 25% of his magical power. Slam damage is 50 to 190 plus 45% of his magical power and the, ca and the cost goes from 70 to 90 with a cooldown of a solid 18 seconds. Alright, so he's going to be... Here is his CC in his kit, which looks to be decently good. It is a root and also a damage. So, and the root goes up to two seconds. So that's um, a good ability for some for some setups. So he's he's gonna be that setup guy who you just throw up in the battle, and he's gonna catch someone for you which is pretty good. All right. His third ability, Sky Cutting Axe, Sheng Tang leaps forward dealing 45 to 125 damage plus 35% of his magical power to damage enemies when he lands and may leap again within 2 seconds while in air. Sheng Tang has increased protections from 10 to 50 which are refreshed if he contacts if he if he connects with an enemy using another ability during the time cancels the additional leap cost goes from 65 to 105 mana with a solid 14 second cooldown all right so if i've got this right so this 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 big man with the face on his chest just pounces towards you right and hits you doing damage um yeah, while in there, he has increased protections. Um, Alright, so 
he's kind of like a Ratatosker like this. So he leaps, and if he hits you, he can leap again within two seconds, which I guess, if it's like that, can be like a Nemesis too, where she can dash twice in a um, short amount of time. Uh, but, huh. That's interesting. I really want to see these abilities in action because I'm reading them and I'm like, what? Just seeing this guy doing all this. Sounds really cool. And I've seen this guy in um, development for a little while. I really want to play him. So, let's move on to his ultimate whirlwind of rage and steel. Jing Tang spins his axe three times in succession, dealing 50 to 150 damage, plus 50% of his magical power per swing and sweep per swing and sweeping up his enemies before throwing them the cost is 100 the cooldown goes from 100 to 80 seconds all right so this looks like a decently uh decently powerful ability since you can knock up your enemies three times three whole times in whirlwind of rage and steel and it has a decent amount of damage with a really high cooldown so it must be something very powerful. And it's like one of those things that can really disrupt the team fight when you just run in and knock up people three times and they can do nothing about it. So all of his kit seems to be quite well and go together. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be, um, reading it now, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a, um, he's, uh, <laughs> reading it now, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a guardian since he is magical and he has all of these all of the CC and his abilities and all that kind of stuff so looks like we have our new Chinese guardian Sheng Tain or however you pronounce it and he looks like he's gonna be really good yeah with HP 5 cooldown roots knockups damage and leaps he looks like he's going to be quite powerful. Let's see how he does. And also, here, why not? Let's look at some skins. There is the Fenrir Ragnarok skin, which looks pretty good. Um, the new Jingtang Jing Tang recolor. And the Vulcan Agni updated skin. Let's take a look at that. Oh, if it loads. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I remember seeing the skin for the first time, and I thought it looked cool. I hope it does it justice now with this redesign but you know how smite game does always making things better and while we're at it we might as well look at the Jing Tang recolor nice uh, brownish skin looks a bit more in this magical fire just bleeding from his eyes and chest or mouth mouth chest because <laughs> he has a face on his chest and here's the Fenrir Ragnarok skin looks pretty good with the horns and uh, this uh, serrated muzzle, his cuffs and uh, this uh, and his little like tail spiky thing, he's taken after his dad Loki, and looks like he's gonna be back better than ever with those chains, and looks like it's gonna be a really nice tier two or three skin. Uh, I'm excited for it. Last but not least, we do have the Ratatosker legendary diamond and mastery skins you know just the master skins forget, forget what I just said <laughs> we have his mastery skins coming in looking really nice with that golden fur and he's in Yggdrasil I am ready to see these I want these mastery skins to come out alright that's all I've got for you guys today thank you for watching the video I hope you are just as excited to see Jing Tain in the game as I am and hopefully I can get on the PTS sometime soon to get a video and show all of, the, all of this guy's abilities in action. But until then, thank you everybody for watching the video. If you enjoyed, a rating would be very much appreciated. But until next time, everybody, peace.